Okay, people, <clears throat> second day of windstorm of the year. Yeah, we're on our second day. It looks like that um, this windstorm and storm we had could be like the one in the winter time that we went eight days, eight days without power. They're saying it will take days for the power to get on, and wouldn't you know, it's going to be the hottest week of the summer. James came home and it took us till about four o'clock in the morning to get our generator going. He bought a generator after the last uh, debacle where we went eight days in the winter time without uh, electricity. And we do have our air, con we don't have air conditioner running. We have our uh, refrigerator running and a couple of fans. But people, I am not ready to go through this again. I am not, especially with the heat. I can't handle the heat. But I know that I'm not in this alone. My whole state is almost devastated again with power lines down and that's the penalty you pay for living up haulers up in the woods and sticks and you have big storms like this and it comes down on the power lines, all the twigs and branches and trees, and uh, I heard a woman had got hit by a tree on up the road. I hope not. But, uh, and you know, I wasn't prepared, so I don't have batteries, a whole lot of batteries, and um, at least we can get out. The last time we were, uh, I couldn't get out of the house because the snow was so deep. You know, so this, at least I can get out of the house. James said he hopes the water stays on. But it's gravity fed and, you know, everybody, it's summertime. Everybody in the world's using water and stuff. So, I'm going to jump in the shower real quick. Try to take a shower. <coughs> so, I'm just reporting. This is Melissa reporting from up in the holler with no power. I do have a refrigerator. I'll get you. I'll get back to you. Bye. Hi, everybody. Well, it's 7:30 on day two of uh, this terrible windstorm we've had. That's knocked out power everywhere, and um, it's so hot. Um, thankfully, James has uh, he fixed our generator got it started and uh, we have had a fan and the fr refrigerator and the fan has helped cool you know it's not it's not kept as cool but it's better than not having one you know what I mean and um, my sister took the temperature out in the sun today if you were out in the sun it was 113 degrees is what her thermometer said and they've told us that it's going to be maybe five days before we get our power back. I tell you what, people, it is so hard. And I feel, you know, I don't want to whine and cry about it because so many people has lost their homes in Colorado and out west, all those fires. And I'm sure people in other states have lost their power or tornadoes. I don't even know what's happening in the country. I can't get... Our radio stations are down. I don't know if the towers fell down. Or we don't have no cell phones. Can't contact my son. Can't can't contact the world, really. And uh, I know last time that we went eight days without power, it took days before I could, I got used to it, you know. If you can get used to something like that. And, um, but I just wanted to come in and, keep you up to date I know by the time you all see this I, I'll have power and stuff but um, I wanted to um, document this terrible windstorm we had all right everybody this is Melissa reporting from up in the holler I hope when I wake up tomorrow if I get any sleep <laughs> that we'll have power bye everybody all right, everybody, James has went down to get uh, gasoline for our generator. And when he went out today, it was so crowded. Everybody was at the gas stations and 
There's not a gas can generator or anything to be found in this town. They say uh, gasoline down at the county seat is getting low and James doesn't even know if he can find gas. If he can't find gas, then you know, uh, we're going to lose our refrigerator and all its contents and uh, the fan and stuff. So, um, I'm hoping he comes home with some gas. He wanted to buy a, another gas can, but couldn't find one. Alright, everybody. It's just a little report there. I'll be back. Bye.